beautiful people, welcome back to more Dark Souls 3 Level 1 Run as we sit at the foot of the steps up to Anor Londo Cathedral here. But, obviously, as I said at the end of the last episode, I think we're going to have to disappoint you. Because we are not going to be heading there this time. Uh, which of these... Is it's distant manners the one, isn't it? That's the one that goes down to Irithil Dungeon. But before actually going down there, there is actually something else we need to do. Having delayed doing it until we could be assured of Grey Rat's safety. And that, as we come through the sewers here with all the spider corpse women, that thing is a talk to Onion Bro here. Uh, for which, of course, we will need to wake him up first. Look what this says. Ah, bonfire. <laughs> Alright, why not? God, I'm not entirely sure how you saved Grey Rat if uh, oh, oh, oh. you've just been asleep here this whole time, but I must have dozed off. The important thing is that you did. It's rather warm in here. Well, well, hasn't it been all too long? It's good to see you. Yep, good oh, to see you as well, I my dude. I seem to have missed my chance, so I, Siegfried of Katarina, offer my deepest gratitude and a little surprise to go with it. It's all yours. Oh, miracle that we will never use. Probably good if you're doing that kind of a build, I though. Know. Won't you join me for dinner? I Knock people off uh, off edges of I that. Mm -hmm. Right now, even we undead deserve a little normalcy from time to time. And finally, upon this rendezvous. Let us make a toast. A Morsig Brow. My sword and our sworn duties. Long may the sun shine. Long may yeah. the sun shine. <laughs> oh, it just gives us a sip then. Automatically. Have you heard? Some heard what? Hidden right here in Irithil. Is a deep dungeon. <gasps> and I am shocked that, at this information. The profaned capital, home of Yorm, the reclusive giant lord. That reminds me, I have a grave promise to keep. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm afraid I've cast a cloud over things. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. I heard over things. It's the only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. You've heard of a mushroom <laughs> cloud, but have you heard of an onion cloud? <sighs> and I believe that's everything. Yeah. So, let's... Oh, where are you guys going off to in such a hurry? Okay, you're luring me into this dude. Okay, I get that, I guess. Pretty clever. Oh, and also luring me to this dude. God, that would have been a nasty ambush to deal with all of them at once. Oh, another spell spamming one of these dudes. Okay, where have you gone? Um. Alright. Well, there's nothing else there, so I don't need to stay here anymore. You're chasing me. I can hear you. There you are. Um, 
And here, I think we will crack an ember. Fwumpf our sword. And you can see, yeah, the fog wall there. Because we are being invaded. Oh, the poise. <laughs> Such an awkward, awkward place to fight. Oh, he almost went off the edge. Got him. <laughs> and we get the Murakumo. And I believe we do need to have killed him there to get his armor later. But we don't get that immediately. It'll be an item available at a separate place, much like it was with Creighton. And here we find Irithyll Dungeon. And straight away, it does not open from this side door. You know them, you love them, you can't get enough of them. No listen carefully ahead. Yeah, um... <clears throat> there will be a lot of screeching this episode, so, um... Be forewarned. And it might start here. Oh! <laughs> that awakened you into... Attacking me, did it? Large shots. Hmm, just it's locked, okay. Well, this is a prison. We will be seeing keys. I hear squishing. Oh. Um these are the Jailers. They have a very interesting mechanic about them. May or may not. I'm pretty sure that did actually get its thing off, didn't it? No? Oh my god. I mean, the message warned me. <laughs> I even rated it good. But yeah, uh, think of these jailers. So I'm not entirely 100% sure what's what does it. Oh my god! But yeah, um, look at my health bar. Yeah, the lantern. I think it's the lantern that does it. it does happen even if they don't hit you with the branding iron or anything. And I also believe you don't need to be in, like, the smoke that they release in order for that to... Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think you need to be in the smoke that they release in order to have the max HP draining effect. Try jump attack. Oh, yeah. You can also see down there more of those uh, cage enemies. Well, some of them are probably just props, but a lot of them are also enemies. More of those cages. More of the David cages. 
with their hit video games Beyond Dark Souls and Irithyll Become Hollow. But we have killed them and in many ways done the world a favour. That remains locked. <laughs> Even if you check it from the, uh, from a slightly different angle. Oh, yeah. More of these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Interestingly, um, <laughs> that doesn't seem to uh, stop them like a torch does. Hey, don't ask me. Dark Spirit Lilith? What the frick? I just invaded again. Cool, cool. Great magic shield. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, glad I noticed that. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out this direction then. So that... Invader that just, um... Disappeared. They must also be level 1 then. Unless I'm just wrong about the level requirement. Shard. Love to see it. Good. I actually had a little stutter there. Pale pine resin. I think I hear um a crystal lizard. But oh oh yeah, this one doesn't attack you. It's just it's just freaking creepy. doesn't open from that side. Okay. So that is the progress route. Is that sound? If it's not the, the baby. Can we open this now? Yes, we can. Wonderful. Okay, that's openable. And that gets me the Jailbreaker's key. I love to see it. Um, does that mean... That we can open some of these doors that we couldn't do before? Nope, that's still locked. Okay. Yeah, I think this is one. No. Nope. That's also still locked. Uh, is it this? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, let's see if we can fully explore this area first, though. Because there is some stuff on the lower level here. Including more of these jerks. No, don't freaking kick it, you dunce.
Interesting that the uh, Lloyd's shield and sword rings um, continue to operate with your new max HP. <laughs> this one is an enemy. Another simple gem. Cool, cool. I dropped the mask. Um, this looks like it's a real one. It is. As does this one. Hmm, that does not open from this side, is it? But, um, how do we go about getting to the other side? Okay, now, this is like an obvious trap, but... Yep. Ah, I just thought that was a harder one to get than it turned out to be there. <laughs> Oh, you're the one who's been screaming. Raise the silence. Words like violence. Praise the silence. Okay, we do want to go the other way because there's an item we can get by dropping down. So, we will do that. Okay, let's go. Uh, where is it? There it is. Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring. Good stuff. As we see more of these jailers, but... Not lantern ones, so... Screw them, you know? <laughs> what do they got? They're not much of a threat. Maybe if there was loads of them. In fact, I'll, I'll hold off on that. Oh look, loads of them. There we go. <laughs> I mean, it almost worked as a bit, didn't it? But, like... Miscreants. Uh, it's a monster. I can't do that. <laughs> I am out of blue bar. Well, it's like this. Even if it's not as good as actually using Carthus Flame Mark despite my pyromancy being terrible. Oh, I'm being sniped. That's uh, kind of an inopportune time for that, but... Nice. Uh, rude. bunch of these little alcoves that you can drop into. I actually cannot remember for the life of me what you're supposed to do here. <laughs> I think they mostly take you to like the same place, but... Hmm. Let's 
go for the furthest away one back here because if I wanted to get it again I'd have to go past all the big all that big uh, load of dudes There's an item there uh, there's also this dude. There's that giant. Um, can I open this? Yeah. Which is the... I know there's a crystal lizard here as well. It's like designed to... Uh, trap you into a... Trap you into chasing it and get killed by the giant. I think it, uh, the crystal lizard might actually be... Like... Because like, you have to hit it to, wa uh, to wake it up in order to get past. And I think the crystal lizard might be on the other side. Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so do I have to hit and then go back? Okay. Can I still get this, uh, the lizard? No. Oh my god. Um. I do kind of want to kill this guy. But is that easier from here or from at the bottom you see because there's a thing down there um in fact there's many th things down there in fact there's infinite things down there this is another area with infinite spawning enemies in this case rats also the yeah yeah, I've just thought that, um, if you take the alcove that is past all of the, um, the other jailer dudes and you land there, you can actually go down that little path and skip having to wake up the giant at all, can't you? So that's the point of that. Uh, where do all the other alcoves take me? I think I, if I had to guess, like, one of them probably takes me to that item, doesn't it? Let's see... Um, let's go this one first, I think. Seems as good as any. Okay, that, that one takes us just to the other side of the giant. And also, there's no way through unless we, um, go back on ourselves. So I think testing the other one, yeah, the other one has to take us. up there, right? Anyway. Let's just uh, carry on this direction, shall we? I'm trying to think if there's a way down there without just falling. Well, I'm dumb. That's got to be the worst death yet. Well, at least it gives us an opportunity to find out where this alcove goes. No, it just drops us in front of the giant. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? Oh. Worth it. <laughs> Is there anything up this way? Oh, oh god. Oh no. <laughs> uh, that's... <laughs> that's something I didn't want to see happen.
profaned flame. Large shot. Uh, God, what are you even doing in this area? There's onion, bro. But pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. Oh, look at me. Trapped like a rat. Speaking of the rats, they do seem to kind of be leaving me alone. Oh my god. Timing. <laughs> Liberation requires a key. The key is outside. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. A riddle for the ages. Oh, he actually says a riddle for the ages. My liberation. Okay. So. Oh my god, there's so freaking many. Oh my god. the hell did I ever make it this far if I'm just going to repeatedly die to freaking rats? Like, that's the thing. It's not even just once. Multiple deaths to rats. Like... Like Pontiff Sullivan... Abyss Watchers, get out of here. <laughs> when you just send, like, a group of ten freaking rats and they have the... Oh god, they're gonna freaking do it again. I can... <laughs> this is, this is awful. Oh, the giant kills the rats, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was the giant who did that, not the rats that time. Although it was because of the rats. What the frick is wrong with me? <sighs> okay. Oh my god. This, this is actually just horrible. This, look at this giant just it's like he's standing on a record player <laughs> look at him just go round and round what has this broken No steppy. God's sake! Infinite f***ing rat. Oh, thank God the giant's dead, though. A chunk and a big pile of poo. Wonderful reward. And yep, they, they continue to keep coming. <laughs> it's like, why infinite rats? <laughs> Let's go up here. That was like a... Yeah, that was like a little wooden side bit that you could drop off onto, but like... 
I'm not sure what the point was. Didn't have any items on it. Cool, cool. That's uh, a shortcut. We will rest at that. At the bonnie and return. It's like, what's it going to do? Respawn all the already infinitely respawning rats. And we'll go up this way. Kill the rats that are following us. Get out of here. Get ready for a fight with this box. Cool, cool. Dragon Slayer lightning arrows, hey? Not sure that's really on a par with some of the other things we've gotten from Mimics, but... You know. Can't all be winners. Oh, hang on. Is this... Yeah, this is how we get the thing on the roof here. Okay. Oh, and that just leads out. We could probably just jump through those windows, can't we? Doesn't appear like you can actually... I don't know, maybe if you get better at... Like if you're willing to spend some time at it, maybe you can jump through that, but... I'm not able to, so yeah. <laughs> Ray, a soul of a crestfallen knight. Okay, let's go through this way and not freaking die this time. I, I, I cannot stand these rats. <laughs> oh, look, more of them. Interesting how, like, the ones in the sewers weren't any trouble at all, but as soon as you just increase the numbers by even a small amount, they suddenly become the hardest enemies in the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what's about to ambush us. Now that I can hear it. Should be here if I go a bit further forward. No? Oh, these are both. Wait, no. Be wary of curse, therefore try fleeing, yep. Now this is a this is a curly chain. Chain curls around, go to town. Oh the old cell key. And this one. Oh, here we go. Now you wanna do it. Ah, oh, that's just like a solid wall of fog now, isn't it? Solid wall of cursed gas. Really, it's just like a parade of everyone's favourite enemies here, isn't it? Just rats, cursed frogs, mimics. Anyway. Where were we? <laughs> oh! You are a Dark Souls 2 style mimic. And you 
Give us the dark clutch ring. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, I think with the old cell key, that should be what opens. Apparently not. <laughs> uh, does it open this? No. Is that just the onion bro key then? The oldest cell in all of Irithyll dungeon. Yeah, first prisoner of the dungeons was a lone giant. Cells for men were built at his feet, so that, yeah. At the feet of the giant does suggest that that is just the onion bro key. Yeah, they're being very nice to me this time, actually, um... Lining up and attacking single file. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that was as easy as it's supposed to be. <laughs> because they're just freaking rats. I, I, I legitimately don't understand why the hell I'm having such a difficult time with this. But anyway. I mean, other, other than the fact I suck, but like... The fact that I suck hasn't stopped me doing okay-ish everywhere else, has it? Anyway, um... <laughs> See all the jailers here? This room is hell. sees me. Are you going to run over? I'd much rather not get the attention of all three, three of you. Oh, <laughs> I think I have got the attention of all three of them anyway. Oh, well. It happens. Let's lure them to the choke point here. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> One of the most uh, irritating rooms in the game. No problem. Freaking rats. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's up with uh, that, but here we are. And that's the Alva set. Shut. One of these uh, awful scream babies. Oh my god, what the frick? That has a shockwave attack? Oh, there's loads of them. Oh, there's even more than I thought. Okay. Can they fit through? No, but 
they can bath on the ground neat making it's all oh, they can't hit through <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god no Yeah, uh... Are they all gonna chase me this far? It's like, this is a really awkward spot to, f to face all these guys. Yeah, especially because, like, they all have, like... The kind of AoE slash projectile things. Tailbone, short sword. And, like... There are various things overlapping with the buff and the uh, shockwave thing. With as many of them as there are, it's a very awkward, tricky fight. I think we're mostly in the clear now. And we get the profaned coal. And we will want to go up that way at some point. I'm just trying to remember, like, the best kind of order to do all this crap in. Mm-hmm. That is another Mimip. Oh god, doing the grab was kind of awkward, awkward there, because like, enclosed space, weird camera. Yeah, that could have gone a lot worse. Oh, we got the symbol of avarice, wonderful. Two titanite scales. Nice one. The Xanthus Ashes. That's some good stuff. Listen carefully. All right, that means this is going to scream. Uh, Dusk Crown Ring. What's that do? Reduces spell FP consumption but lowers HP. Yeah, because like that, that used to give you more castings, didn't it? Oh. Another one of those jerks. It's hanging off in the side area. Um. Oh, you can't. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't quite remember where you find the key for this either. But you can see there's someone in there. No treasure ahead. Well, I'm still going to open it. <laughs> Not sure if, um... Actually, like, having this open, like, for every other time going through here with this guy might be a bad idea. sure if um might actually be a somewhat decent idea if he fights the jailers but I'm not sure if he does would be cool if he did anyway down this way is progress so we're gonna go check out the stairs on the other side first
in this weird kind of um, half dragon, half human thing. Pillared remains. We get the dragon torso stone. I like what you got from the dragon remnants covenant. In DS1, try gesture. Absolutely vote that up. Happens to be a gesture we don't have yet. But it is important to remember that that little cliff there is a place where we can try gesture. Oh, lightning blade. Um, can I call that back? Yes, there's a lever there. Check the thing on Lightning Blade. Thirty. Okay. Yeah, that ain't happening anytime. I was gonna say anytime soon, but anytime at all in this run. We have ways of boosting our faith a bit, but like not by twenty whole points. Fortunately, the uh, Xanthus Ashes uh, kind of make it so we don't really need to because um, they unlock unlimited um, gold pine resin. Also this. Is this? Yeah, that's like a, a shortcut to here. To the downstairs of the... Um, yeah, I think that this is the downstairs of the first area. The first side. No, it's not the first side. So, I guess that's kind of a shortcut, but it's a really awkward one. Anyway, seeing as how we're unable to do anything with that cell or any of the other cells that we couldn't open within the dungeon. I'd say it's time to move onwards in this direction. Towards progress. We'll just uh, form our sword here, no particular reason. You see that? Well, if you didn't before, now you do. <laughs> oh my god. Good shot, dude. Good shot. And again, that, oh, that is really annoying. God, stop losing lock on, please. Right. That was a lot nervier than it probably should have been. None of those are uh, hugely difficult fights. It's just, um, don't want to have to do all of that again. The room with all the jailers. Especially not when that room with all the jailers is also behind rats. The hardest enemy in the game, apparently. <laughs> um, where's the bonfire? Is the bonfire... Like... Up there? Ah. Uh, I think it's... It's up that ladder, isn't it? Because I think this is um, a good spot to end things off. Yep, there it is. And this, uh, this character here... Ooh, stretch out gesture and undead bone shard. Uh, this is 
Laddersmith, uh, Laddersmith Gilligan, I think his name was, from Dark Souls 2. Let's see if all these ladders are around here. He remains helpful to us. Bit of a weird um, callback to have, but here we are. <laughs> And we will reinforce our Esther's flask. Uh, we will give him that profaned coal we picked up. Where did you happen upon this coal? This is much too dark. I see the abyss in it. Yet a smith I am. Yes, it is a thing most profane. I a request. But forget not. Your fight is for the flame, and for your fellow kin, just like mine. A yeah, yeah, linking the fire, linking the fire. Hope we all love linking the fire around here, don't we? <laughs> and what's that actually let us do? I think we could already do crystal. Fire. We could already do fire blessed. I think, yeah, we could already do deep because we've already got one. Dark blood poison hollow. Okay. And we'll give you the xanthus ashes. Passing fine ash, thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> mm -hmm. They will content me. There's some good stuff in here. Mainly. Unlimited golden pine resin. But also. The Xanthus set. Wait. The wood crane room slows equipment degradation. Oh yeah, that's a real problem. We'll buy it to say we have it though. Um, it's the whole Xanthus set except for the um, most iconic part. Although having said that, just the, like the overcoat, gloves and trousers are actually pretty stylish in this game as well. So we will get them. Yeah, of course, yeah. I already have the Xanthus crown because I think I got it from um, the invasion of Yellowfinger Heisel, didn't I? Anyway. I believe that's enough for now. I will burn the bone shard. But, <laughs> yep. I will say thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya!